How's it, putties? Good morning, eh? We're going to have a South African breakfast here, eh? So, um, my wife's South African. We lived in South Africa for 18 months uh, when we were first married. Uh, lots of fun there. It's one of the best places. It's also one of the worst places. And if you discuss with people from South Africa, I'm sure you'll hear about it. Anyway, one of the great things about South Africa is called pup. What is pup? Pup is maize meal, milli meal as they call it. They use a white corn and basically grind it into a flour. You can, I found this in Cole supermarket. You get it in a South African specialty store, but wherever there's a big South African expat community, you expect to find that in a supermarket, in a decent supermarket. It's actually quite low calorie, just, you know, in talking in terms of caloric density, low protein, low fat. This is, you know, high carb. And what they do is you basically take two parts water to one part pup, and you boil it. Uh, I tried it in the in a rice cooker, came out all right, but not great. Did it in a thermomix, came out beautiful. This is some I prepared earlier. So this is just some, you know, bit of a breakfast pup, which is, you know, comes into this almost solid piece and you gotta eat it holding your hands. Dip it into gravy. Gravy is just tomato, onion sauce, whatever spices you want. Got some broccoli. This is what we're getting involved in. Carving up, low fat. Very nice, South African affair. A lot of people go, well, carbs make you fat because I eat this at a barbecue and I'm fat. But you're blaming the pup when you really should be blaming the burvos, the sausages, the pork chops, the high fat bacon and all these things that the person's eating at the barbecue. This is really great peasant food. This is the starch solution here. This is where starch of ours, as John McDougall says, this is what we should be eating. Uh, we're not really carnivores. So this this gets me excited. This is home cooking. This is soul food. Bit of pup. Just give it a go. So give that... If you're looking for something different, it's quite bland. The texture's quite interesting. But just it's the mystique behind it that makes it interesting. All right, guys, have that. And let me know what your thoughts are.